Get ready to fall in love with Sumiko Garashi. <laughs> Garashi merch but I didn't really know that much about them and I saw some really cute gachapon when I was in Tokyo. If you haven't seen them already have a look at my videos from Tokyo. I went to the Studio Ghibli Museum, saw the giant Gundam, I found an anime shrine so take a look they're all on my channel. Sumiko Garashi are from San X which is the company that make Rilakkuma and Taro Panda and my own favourite Afro Ken who you don't really see around that much anymore. Anyway if you don't know that much about them get ready to fall in love with Sumiko Garashi. Their stories are adorable. Sumiko Garashi means corner living and this little group of friends don't have much confidence. They're all outcasts in their own way. They just like to hide away in the corners where they feel safe and they've all got their own personalities that maybe you can relate to if you ever feel like you just want to hide away in a corner. Shirakuma is a white bear who ran away from the north. He's always cold and he's scared of strangers and he just likes drinking tea in the corner. Penguin has so little confidence that he has a question mark after his name. He used to wear a plate on his head, but he took it off because it made him look like a kappa, which is a type of Japanese monster. Tonkatsu is a pork cutlet gone wrong. He's 1% meat and 99% fat, and nobody wants to eat him because he's so greasy and oily. Poor Tonkatsu. Neko is a shy cat who likes to scratch. Tapioca are the bubbles left over from bubble tea. They look so sad. Zasu is a weed who dreams of being in a beautiful bouquet in a florist. Hakori is a dust ball. They should have made him a dust bunny. He looks so happy. Furoshiki is a wrapping cloth and he belongs to Shirakuma the bear. He's what he wrapped all his things in when he ran away from the north. Nisetsu Muri means fake or deception head. You may think he's a snail, but he's actually a slug with a shell. They were the original crew, and then they added three more characters. Suzume, the little brown sparrow. Ebi Fry no Shippo, or Shippo-chan, who's a fried shrimp tail. And he's good friends with tapioca and tonkatsu because they're all food that no one wants. Isn't it heartbreaking? And Tokage, who's a dinosaur who pretends to be a lizard so he can fit in and not get caught. Which one is your favourite? It's so hard to decide which is the cutest. Let me know in the comments. And can you imagine walking along the street and seeing this cute truck and it also plays the song from the Sumiko Garashi videos. You can buy loads of character goods. There are so many themed series, probably as an excuse to bring out more merch, but they're all very cute. A nautical themed range. They're pretending to be at sea, but really they're still just in the corner at home. A hot spring series with a cute Mount Fuji who's sad because he can't join them in the water. There's even a cute Christmas series. But my favorite is this series where they're all wrapped in sushi rolls. So cute. And Nisetsu Muri's got a sushi roll as his shell. To celebrate their third birthday, they formed a band in association with Tower Records. Shirakuma's on the guitar, Tonkatsu's on the drums, and Tapioca are dancers. Tokage is their manager, and Shippo-chan's on the decks. There's also a ghost who works for Tower Records. I don't know what they're trying to say about their staff. And you can also get a plushy stage playset. And of course, there's a theme cafe, which is open in Tokyo right now. Bubble tea is on the menu, but would you have the heart to eat poor little tapioca? <laughs> Suzume no Namida. A sparrow's tears, or a really, really small amount of something. Suzume no Namida. If you like my t-shirt and want to warn other people that the Alpacalypse is coming, you can get it from my website cakeswithfaces.co.uk and remember to subscribe for more All the Best Office from Japan and more from Tokyo as well. I'll see you next time. Bye bye! <laughs>